I don't know if I've ever mentioned this stuff. It's a brush on electrical tape. I only found it, found it in uh, my local super cheap auto store just recently. It's made by Dynagrip. Um, brush on electrical tape. A couple of layers of this. Um, and uh, it covers up things that you just can't get to or it's just impractical to get to with uh, normal electrical tape. Uh, all you got to do is clean the surface up and put a layer or two on it. Now, if you remember my video from the other day, I uh, lent this bad boy against myself while I was uh, cutting some steel up the backyard, and uh, I got a massive boot off it. Absolutely massive. It uh, got me through my shirt and into my stomach, and uh, yeah, really made me jump. So. We're just going to fix that up by uh, applying a bit of this liquid electrical tape to the outside of this and let it set and then I'll go do some cutting. So I'll open it up. So you can see like the consistency. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit runny. You should get some on the end of your brush. Just kind of paint it on. It's a little bit gooey. Obviously, the best thing to do would be to replace the spark plug blade, and uh, that's not going to happen. You can't be bothered. It's uh, a cheap saw. It's designed to destroy steel. Basically, is all I want it for. Is all I bought it for. We're just going to thicken that up like that. There you go. It skins off like. Chemical reaction, reaction wise, you said like flash off the colour of the outside of it changes pretty quick. Obviously, there's some kind of uh, accelerant that uh, evaporates to create the drying effect. But yeah, well, I'm going to mix up some fuel. By the time I mix up some fuel and apply another coat, you'll be ready to go do some cutting. Yeah, well, we're going to have to do some research on the specs of this, but I don't think it's meant to be 25 to 1. I think they've been using too much oil because um, it's very very smoky but um, I'll do some research before I change anything alright thanks for watching